Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 realistic Lego drawings and the drawing at the top of this list actually took me 65 hours to complete and is by far the best drawing that I've ever created in my entire life. So make sure you stick around for the whole video so you do not miss it. So coming in at number 10 we have my Lego Benny drawing, so the Lego Spaceman minifigure here and you can see here that it actually looks like a pretty good drawing and I mean it is but it's very small and if you do come a bit closer on like the yellowness of the head here it does look really quite blotchy and I don't know what it is with like using Faber-Castell polychromos which are the pencils that I use for all of these. The yellows they're just always a bit blotchy and there's another yellow drawing coming soon that is kind of a similar problem but I think it's a bit better and also the translucency on the stud piece I was really quite happy with how that turned out but yeah a pretty solid contender to start the list. So coming in at number nine we have my Lego Technic Porsche 911 GT3 RS drawing and if I bring it a bit closer you can see again that we are struggling a bit with like these orangey colors and the blotchiness that they have and I don't know whether it's I'm layering them a bit too much and then the pencil um, pigment doesn't have enough like paper to grip onto because I have blemished it a bit too much but here again I'm pretty happy with all like the proportions here and like the reflections in the headlights but yeah a pretty good contender for number nine. So now coming in with number eight we have my Deadpool and Wolverine drawing and again this is what I was talking about with the yellow so again the top here is just a bit blotchy and I don't know what this is but yeah it looks all right I was pretty happy with the Deadpool and a fun fact about this is this was done with two separate reference photos because obviously the Deadpool minifigure if you're aware is actually a 90 pound minifigure in real life and obviously I couldn't really afford that just to take just do a drawing of it so I, I asked one of my friends from a Lego um like convention thing that we do where I go and sell prints of my work and then he kindly allowed me to take a photo of it and then I joined the picture of the Deadpool photo with the Wolverine photo with the Wolverine minifigure that I actually have and then I combined the two to create this drawing. So again, pretty happy again with like the shiny and the claws and stuff and that's pretty cool. So coming in with number seven, we have my Lego Nissan Skyline R34. Now this is like the one from the Fast and Furious films. I was just really happy with this one. I think in terms of having it all gray, um, it's a bit like dull, but you can see here that I'm using a lots of light blues in the grays as well, just to bring up that color saturation. So these gray pieces don't look dull in comparison to these um, darker blue pieces. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. Super happy with how this turned out. And this actually got featured on the Nissan, the official Nissan Instagram page, which is a pretty cool fact. And yeah, a pretty Pretty cool gloat as well. So coming in at number six we have my Lego Star-Lord drawing and if I'm being honest this is definitely one of my favorite Lego minifigure drawings that I've done just because of the size it's at because most of my minifigure drawings are done at the same size as that Lego Spaceman that I showed you in the beginning so they're quite small but this one I think it's just the size it just makes it look a bit more epic and I also paid particular attention here to making sure that all the blending was really nice and smooth so you can see there it's just really nice and seamless and actually like real Lego pieces and again I use that um, something called a colorless blender on this so this is like an alcohol marker that doesn't actually have any pigment to it and then you can use this over the top of the pencils to dissolve the pigment and push it further into the tooth of the paper and this is really the key when it is when it comes to creating realistic lego drawings and you want everything to be really nice and smooth so now coming in with number five we have my lego mercedes f1 car drawing now the reason that this is so low is because it's quite a boring model it's like if you look at it it's kind of clunky and a bit ugly and also um, the colors on this are just so boring it's just grays but again using some like purples and some lighter blues just like I showed you with the um the Nissan Skyline there um, just to bring up that color saturation to make it pop but again the symmetry on this is actually pretty good because obviously I use the grid method to do all the sketches and stuff but yeah pretty good drawing but down in number five just because of those things that I just talked about. So coming in with number four we have my Lego Ferrari Daytona drawing. Now this is probably my favorite out of all the one to eight Lego Technic supercars that I've drawn purely because of the fact that I've used like pinks and oranges in the highlights and it's just really vibrant and I think the angle here is just a bit more like distorted so in terms of like perspective and stuff it's just a bit more like dynamic really. I just really like this drawing. So now it's time to move on to the top three Lego drawings. But before we get on to those top three drawings, if you'd like to learn how to draw like me, I have a completely free in-depth drawing course that covers everything from getting good reference photos to accurate sketching to using markers to colored pencil work. Everything completely for free and this is available inside of my free drawing community called the Drawing Guild. And I'll have this link down below. So with that said, let's get straight on to the top three Lego drawings. So coming in at number three, we have my Lego Mandalorian drawing. And surprise Surprisingly, this is actually the first colored minifigure that I did. So I actually did this at the start of 2024. And honestly, I'm just super happy with this. I think the angle is just like, like almost perfect. I don't think I could have picked a better angle. And a, like a fun fact about this drawing as well is I had to blue tack the Grogu minifigure 
onto the back of the Mandalorian minifigure to get this photo to work from it. And I'm also really happy with how I use like the lighter colors next to the darker colors on like the metallic bits to really make it shiny. And again, probably my favorite minifigure drawing that I've ever done. And I don't think I'll ever be selling this one. Well, I mean, unless someone's like willing to pay you know, a, a reasonable a sum. So now moving into second place, we have my Lego McLaren F1 car drawing. Now this is probably one of my favorite car drawings that I've ever done. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I actually did this as like a challenge on my Facebook, my YouTube, and also my Instagram, where I said that for every like it got, I would spend one second drawing the um, this car. And basically in total, it took about 38 hours to do. So it was like mental, I can't um, remember the amount of likes that it took. But you can see here again, just using those blues and the greys to bring up the color saturation. I'm also a big fan of like the streaks of orange coming through here as well. And all the details and like the writing and loads of stickers were quite a pain in the backside to do. But I reckon that extra effort just to make sure they're nice and accurate was well worth it because it's just, just looks so cool. And actually like a little Easter egg in this piece. Is if you come over to this um, left wing here, you can see that under Chrome, it says smart sheet. But if you come over to the other wing, the other side here, um, you can see under Chrome, it says Smart Sheet. I like completely missed out the T and yeah, I couldn't really um, rectify it because rubbing it out anymore, it meant that I wouldn't be able to put any more pigment down because it would have torn the paper. So now we can move on to the best Lego drawing that I've ever created and arguably the best drawing that I've ever created out of everything that I've ever drawn and that is the Lego Technic BMW M1000RR. Now, I've got to be honest, um, before like drawing this, I was constantly looking at the model and being like, I really need to draw that, but it's just, there's so many pieces, it's really daunting to even start. But yeah, as soon as I got starting, I mean, the sketch for this drawing alone took 14 hours, which um, is actually the same amount of time as it took me to do that Lego Spaceman in the beginning, like from start to finish. So this thing was an absolute beast. I mean, in total, it was 65 hours. And whenever I take it to like Lego shows and things to sell prints of it, um, this is the drawing that really draws people in and they're like, OMG, because it is like a one-to-one -one scale drawing of the actual model itself. So yeah. It's pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever created a drawing just as detailed as this. So there you go. That was my top 10 realistic Lego drawings. If you think I've ordered them incorrectly, please let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you want to see more realistic Lego drawings, as well as just realistic drawings of just other stuff and more drawing tutorials and like tips and stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I shall see you in the next video, which should appear somewhere on screen around about now. So again, thank you again for watching and I shall see you over there.